Hello everybody and welcome back. Again, my name is Steven and I work for MisfitPixGallery.com. Okay, so what I want to show you for today is how to add neon lights into your photography. This is going along the same lines as how uh, magazines add neons into theirs uh, for their um, fashion and color schemes for like makeup and stuff like that, but I'm not going to get into too much detail about that. So what I have up on the screen for you is a picture of my friend Anna. So thank you very much Anna for letting me use your photo in my tutorial. So what I'm going to be showing, so the first thing that you got to do is with your brush tool. I already have this preset. I've got a color, uh, this very nice purple color. And the first thing that I did actually was I selected a uh, softer brush, made sure that my hardness was at a zero, and selected my size to be pretty large. So with that, you can just basically just kind of click around. I would say like try and keep away from the model herself because this will creep into the model. So I just add a light there and one like there. I'm already adding a lot of definition to this photo just with a couple of click, uh, quick clicks. But unfortunately this is about as far as it goes. So I'm going to back out. If that's exactly what you wanted, then fine. You're doing perfect. But what I'm going to actually do for you is I am going to add a new layer. Now with this, I'm actually able to like put another couple of lights in. And if I'm feeling that these lights are actually being too sharp, too bright, or too distracting, I can actually turn them down just by turning the opacity down. And they actually dis slowly disappear. I would say more or less if you want them to be less distracting, try and keep them below 50%. But, however, I'm the kind of guy that actually likes to have a lot of distractions. So, I'm going to keep my opacity all the way up to 100 and this is exactly where this one's going to go. But what I want to actually show you is this has been something that I've been wanting to play with for quite a while and actually I have figured out how I like it to be done. But um, <coughs> anyone else's opinion can be different but I would say more or less um, with this tutorial I actually show you more definition behind it. If you have any other sort of way that you that you think is working for you a lot better please leave it in the comments below I would love to hear them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the quick selection tool and I'm just gonna start picking her out like starting from the hair and down. I'm making this one really quick just because I don't want this video to be too too long but I would say more or less eh, with your photos if you really want to take it to a major professional level I would say really take your time to cut out everything that needs to be cut out unselect things that don't need to be cut out but however I'm going to keep it really simple and I've already selected everything that I need of her except for that corner there we go so go control J and you now have a layer that's actually cut out specifically for her. So if I go Alt and then click on this eyeball of layer one, it will just select her. So as I as I said, um, I have just done a shoddy cutout because like if you look in between her arms, there are bits and pieces of the background selected. So click Alt and bring it on back. All right. So now we need to use our covering layers. So add two layers. Make sure that your one layer is going to be above your cutout and the second layer is going to be between your cutout and your background. So unselecting your cutout, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first use layer three. So this is the middle layer that's going to be in between our cutout and our background. I'm going to go back to our brush tool and I'm going to add some quick ones right there and right about there. Okay, and then on our top layer, I'm actually going to add one 
right there, and right there. So now I have a full X of neon lights. So now when I bring the cutout back, this layer, I'm sorry, this light and this light are both going to jump behind her, while these two layer, uh, t these two neons are going to actually stay right in front of her. So I click it on, and there you have it. They've actually now, like I said, these two have jumped behind her while these two are still up front. The only thing that I would say you'd want to know about is when it comes to using layers like this, if you have too harsh of a light or too close, you're actually going to see the pixelation and it's going to make it look really, really bad. So with this, I would say go down to your third layer and then with your blending options, bring your opacity down. And like I said, you'd probably want to keep it around 50%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it directly to 50, push OK. It's looking OK. She's, it's given her a little bit of a definition towards her hip and some more towards her head. There you go. And that's basically how you do it. If you want to have more, more lights and more layers of different types of things, I would say go right ahead. Um, there's no real wrong answer as to how to edit your photos this way. I'd say the only thing is that you'd want to keep necessarily the neons a little less distracting than just kind of like in your face about these neons. Just keeping, <coughs> keeping the model still your focus, but adding more um, interesting things around her. So thank you very much for watching. This has been another tutorial done by me, Stephen. Please subscribe to my channel, Stephen Falk, and I'll see you next time, all right? And thank you.